Hey, what's going on? Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm the one and only. Nice to meet you. Today we're gonna be comparing the step band versus the new bands that I've been seeing everywhere called I don't know what they're called, so I'm just gonna call them the magic school buses. Cause they look like a bus. So we're gonna do the step band first. If you drive a step band, let me know what you feel about the step band. And then also later on, let me know what you feel about the one I call the magic school bus. I call it a magic school bus because it's the kind of vehicle you pay for like a service. And then go pick up your grandma and takes her to church on Sundays. That's the kind of bus it is, all right? We're going to do the step band first and we'll do the magic school bus. So let's go ahead and go with that. What's up, everybody? This is a 2019 E-Series Ford Step I'm just gonna skip to the inside because it's what the when you're a delivery driver It's what's on the inside that matters, baby not the outside There's a couple things that you'll probably notice right away The first thing is that there's no radio another thing you'll notice is that the dash is pretty bare But there are a few things that I'll point out first the step band does have AC and heat It works pretty good, but when it's hot, it's really hot So the step band also has two fans Which you can turn on with this button right here and then home task delivery the people who own this van actually installed an aftermarket AC unit. That's right above the driver's head. And in my experience, you kind of need one of those for the hot days. Even right now when I'm recording this video, it's not even 80 degrees, but inside the step van, it's probably 10, 20 degrees hotter. You got two flaws already, right? The AC sucks. That's something important. I hope the heater doesn't suck because dude, when it gets cold, it gets cold. And two, there is no radio. So how are you supposed to jam out and enjoy your day? Listen to yourself sing? I mean, you could do that. I mean, I did it all the time, but hey, that sucks. No radio? You gotta bring your own headphones? What? What do you need to do? How do you stay motivated on your days when you're working in the step van, guys? If you're a step van driver, let me know. Pretty basic gauge cluster. That's pretty tall. The clearance height, 1010. So I drove the FedEx ones before. Those things are huge. I think the FedEx one that I was driving was a little bit bigger than this, if not the same. But hey, man. It's 1010, that's pretty, pretty high. It does have a nice sticker reminding you that the clearance height of this vehicle is 10 feet, 10 inches. Also, there's a shelf. I'll use this for packages or I'll put my snack here or there's a cup holder for your water. There's also a cup holder on the other side. A handy little shelf right at the front. If you have a shelf, if let's say you put a package, if you do a turn, will your like package go flying out? And are you allowed to put packages there? Reason I'm asking that is because if you're in the bends, you're not allowed to put packages in the front or front seat, things like that. Or at least where I work, they don't, they don't allow it. So let me know if they allow you to put packages in the front if you're on a step band. And also you can't put them in the front because if it slide off, slides off and goes flying, then what? Let me know if you do that, guys. Another cool feature of the step bands is the camera system. So there's a rear facing camera, but there's also a 360 degree camera that gives you a rough idea of any objects, vehicles in your surroundings. And of course, the step van doesn't have a back window. There's another built-in screen that shows you what's behind you. You'll also notice a vent down here. By I really do like that it has the 360 view. That helps a lot. I, I bet you it helps a lot of drivers and it's helped them stay out of accidents so, so much. If all the vehicles had that, that'd be so much better. By your feet. And that's to get some natural breeze into- <laughs> Get some natural breeze into them shorts, baby. Mm-hmm, cause you know it gets Balls hot out there. <laughs> Cabin while you're driving. What was that? Let me let me let me rewind a little bit. Press number three on the fob, and the door slides open. Bro, that was that was clean. That was clean as hell. That was that was clean as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I like I like that. Woohoo! One. Two, three, four shelves, baby, all the way to the back. That if I'm kind of liking the step van, man. I ain't gonna lie, it, it's huge, but it, it helps a lot, especially during peak season, because peak season ain't no joke. The cargo area is about as exciting as you'd expect it to be, considering it's just a giant metal box. There are a few interesting things to note here, though. You'll notice four big sets of shelves, two on each side. That's for putting totes full of packages or big oversized boxes. The shelves at the very back of the van can fold up or down depending on what works best. While you're back here, you'll also notice that the roof isn't metal like the rest of the truck. It's some type of translucent plastic. I think I heard that it's to let more light into the back of the truck so that even when you don't have the back door open or one of the front doors, it's not pitch black back here and you can still see what you're doing. And finally, if you were dying to know what the fourth button does on the key fob, this is it. 
You guessed it. Button number four unlocks the rear door. And then when you're ready to close it again, just pull down on this. Boom. It's it's a step van. What, there's nothing too exciting about it, but I do like that it has so much more space in the Am, uh, Amazon Mercedes Benzes or the Fords, whatever they are, whatever you got your DSPs driving. So the step vans, in my opinion, they're nice. Er, because it has so much space and guys if you're in peak season you know that you need all the space you can get because man is getting crazy i've seen people delivering 200 300 packages a day 400 some guy earlier showed me 500 packages to deliver i was like oh my god jesus christ anyways enough of the step band we're going to the magic school bus let's go this video is a little bit less higher quality i don't know why i can only go to 360p this is terrible but it's what we got, okay? So we're gonna work off what we see. And curtailment and the delivery of vehicles all through your fleet. Your feedback, along with our continued focus on safety and efficiency, has been the foundation of how this vehicle has been designed. This baby better have better AC, a lot of space, and it better not let me down. Cause if I'm gonna be driving this, it's ugly, but it better work. Without further ado, let's forward the first thing you'll notice i don't care about the ass side we know is ugly let's go cargo capacity ergonomic features durability hey whatever gross vehicle weight don't care come on give me the give me the juice i want the juice it comes designed with a set of interior steps that both have non-skid capability as well as they're illuminated hey grandma you want to ride to church this morning i'll take you uh let me go get my bus real quick that enables the da to enter in and out safely even in times of darkness itself we have taken out the swing outdoors it takes out all the in times of darkness so that little light i guess it can help if you're in the countryside road and then it's dark outside and you don't trip because i've tripped going into the mercedes brands and it sucks that have happened with hinges, etc. It has that a little seat too. The with enough room to That's pretty big. For a door that is designed. You see that, guys? I really like that right there. Let me back up a little bit. Right here, you see all that space it has? All that space right here? Woo! You can put a whole tote right there, baby, and just grab and go. You don't even have to take out any boxes. Put that whole tote right there, and you just grab and go. I like that right there. I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I like that space right there. A lot more space, and you can close the door, unlike the step bands. Well, you can close the door on the step bands, but uh, you can leave the doors open on the step bands, right? And it won't, it might go flying out. This one, I don't think if you put that whole tote there, it won't go flying out. Easily have that space to maneuver around. So if they have a second seat, right? If you have a second seat, I've seen places where they have uh, delivery helpers. So let me know if you have delivery helpers, guys, and it, it's a lot better because... If, what's the reason of having the second seat if you don't have a helper, right? So that seat better be there for a reason. The first thing you'll notice when you get into this area itself is the familiar controls. The big addition to this vehicle itself that you'll notice is this large display that provides the driver with continuous full 360. Okay, so it does have 360, so that's going to help a lot of people, especially people that <laughs> make it hard for themselves to back up. So I do like this. Notice that there's an always on and it has an auxiliary cord. Ooh, means you can put some music on there, baby. Rear view that essentially enables the driver to have almost no blind spots at all. So let's jump into uh, the, the delivery experience itself. The drivers can just hit a button and it essentially pops open the auto bus. <laughs> Did you see that? He just touched the button and bam. That door open, man. I'm tired of the Mercedes brands too because you open it and that thing's just slamming the whole day. It's slamming. Had to use freaking bungee cords to keep them open now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of like a Lamborghini move. Like, hey, look at my, uh, my, uh, look at my, what the freak are they called? Look at my Lambo doors. They go up. <laughs> this, but look at this, baby. Let me give you a ride real quick. Let me push this button. It's gonna open up and then we can go to the back. Mm hmm. <laughs> The door there's also a button on the top that enables them to do the same thing itself so let's go into the cabin area you walk in and immediately you can see with 32 inch aisle space it's huge 
Ooh, I like this. It's big. It's basically a step band, but I, I believe it's a little bit smaller and it has four shelves. I like this. So you can use the floor, you can use the middle shelves, you can use the top shelf for all your stuff. Hmm, but the question is, how many can you fit in there? Huge in terms of uh, drivers being able to quickly handle both their bags, but then also being able to get to their parcel. We have foldable rear shelves in the back here where drivers... What's up with these rear foldable? Can't you just make them all foldable? Like, what if I don't want to use any at all and just want to lift them all up? I don't know. Something they could have done. Store oversized packages. The other neat feature that you'll observe is we've changed the door to be a completely lift rear door itself. As you can see, we're super excited about this vehicle. I could go all day talking about all the different features that are built into it with the exterior work light that's set up. Ooh, has a backlight. I like that. I mean, if it's dark outside, you might need it to help you, <laughs> especially on the countryside because you can't see nothing out there. The cargo area venting system that's built in there and a whole load of safety features that are built into the vehicle. Before I end, I wanted to take a moment and thank you guys for all the feedback over the last year, year and a half that's gone into building this vehicle. Hope you see how the fleet themselves improve the vehicles. It didn't say much about the AC, but I'm pretty sure it does have a pretty good AC in there. My thoughts on both the step band and the Magic School Bus is no radio on the step band. It has a lot of space. I do like that, but I do not. I do not like that it has no radio because how are you supposed to jump out? Like you have to bring your own phone or what? Anyways, no radio on the step band. I don't like that. The AC kind of sucks because. It, the guy is saying if it's hot, it's already hot. So I can only imagine what it feels like in the winter is going to be cold. So I don't, I kind of don't like that about the step van. But I do love that it has so much space. It's so big. You can put a lot of packages, especially during peak season. It's going to get crazy. Now the Magic School Bus, it has an auxiliary cord from what I can see. It has the same camera as the step van. It's not as big as the step van, but it is pretty spacious. And I'm pretty sure that the AC is going to be a lot better than the step van and they both have spaces in the front the step van has a little area where you can put packages in and the magic school bus has that space between the passenger seat and the steps and i like that because you can put a whole tote there and you can just grab and go you're grabbing go take your packages and it just i like i love that space and the step van if you keep both doors open that thing might go flying out that's the only thing i don't like about the step van but Hey, let me know what you guys think down below. I want to know what your thoughts are. Which one do you, would you prefer? Which one do you like more? Don't think about the looks on the outside, guys. Think, think about the inside. Let me know what you think about it, okay? So those are my final thoughts, guys. I think I would prefer choosing the Magic School Bus just because of AC, radio, and it's big as well. And it has a 360s just like the Step Van. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you prefer? Let me know. You want to know anything about Amazon? If you want to know, I want to watch some comedy skits, you want to watch something from me, click on these videos right here. They can help you out. Hey, what's going on, baby? Click on these videos.